The images of devastation, death and rubble in Haiti stunned the world. For many, it was a call to action. You're looking at entire towns gone. Uh, for me, it was what can I do? Like others, Shelley Bradford Bell watched these images and wanted to help. The kids are going out in the mud. The sanitation is poor. They have no utensils for eating. Bell soon learned how something small could make a big difference. Something as small as a pair of nail clippers. This is going to save five kids. And you look at five little kids today under the age of 10 and think these nail clippers could have saved their lives. It turns out more children in Haiti die from bacteria under their nails than from contaminated water. So Bell and her group, Global Arts and Education, set out to collect as many nail clippers as they could. Our challenge was going to be to get a thousand clippers. And then former Mayor Willie Brown stood up and told me, that's not a big enough challenge. And she said, we'll do a thousand nail clippers. What are you talking about? I can do a thousand nail clippers. You got to do a lot more than that if you really want to make an impact. The group is now raising money to buy 50,000 nail clippers. It hopes to deliver them to the devastated nation next month. The resources came to the conclusion that there was something really needed in the nature of nail clippers because that contributes uh, to the health of the people there. But Bell won't be content to mail the clippers from a post office. She plans to deliver them herself. I want to hand them to parents who are trying to save their children. And I think it's just, it's such, it's so important when you look at a kid and think they don't have a life just because they didn't have these nail clippers. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.